iced latte. Not a latte, just a tea, the tea, not a latte. I used to want to smell like, oh, chai. Now I'm like, I got it. Um, so yeah, this is all I get. I get it from Amazon as well. First time I tried it, my mother-in-law got me like a tea package thing from there. It was really nice. So the cinnamon is so good. If I have sugar cravings, the cinnamon is my go-to as well as the chai. You can make it into like a, a latte kind of thing. Put some milk in the days. I feel want something creamy. I do that. Excuse the disheveled hair, but I have had surgery in this area, so your girl can't comb. I have to leave the wound, you know, to heal. So yeah, if I'm looking like a disheveled mess, that is why. Sorry for the sound. Someone's a house alarm. I think is going off. I still haven't done it. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know whether it's the house in front of us, not front, but behind us, or our next door neighbours on here. But I don't think it's them. I think it's the one in front or in the cul-de-sac bit. So I'm not really sure. It goes off soon because I don't like having those sounds. It just gets irritating. I got oh update. I got a new a case for myself. Your girl's case was looking a bit disheveled, so got this. Five pounds Amazon and it got also the screen protector so it's off oh, thank god <laughs> so happy let's get my nails I tried to wait it out a bit but I was like I'm gonna be waiting here all day before I even start doing this this you know catch up so this is week nine update ten I don't know where we're at take my glasses off I can't see the thing um I don't know if we're on week ten or nine Everything's going so gig. No, week nine because it's nine to twelve now, isn't it? Yeah. Week nine was obviously I've had my surgery, so I didn't really think I was gonna lose that much. Um which I've lost 3.2 pounds on week nine, started week ten, jammed on my stomach, back to my stomach because I think she's the go-to. Like I think even though my thighs are quite big and probably do hold quite a bit of fat. I'm not gonna lie, your girly back in the day was working out these legs. So I don't think they've got that much, they probably a lot of muscle with the fat, but I just don't think, because I ended up bruising really bad. I don't know if whether they say if you do it, like obviously not in the fatty bit, it ends up first time, not what I'd say first time, but that was the first time I bruised a lot in an area. The stomach, rarely, I can barely ever see it. No reactions. I ended up, I feel like I got like a little rash on the side. I was like, no, I'm not doing this thing, okay? Maybe my body just doesn't want me to change, you know, injection sites. So, for the people that it's been working for, great. But I did it that one week and I had the worst loss. I did it that week and I got the worst loss. Like, I then got a pound, I don't know, zero points on it. I think that was week seven I did that. I think the stomach is just perfect for me. I'm not gonna try and, yeah, just cut up some strawberries some pre-cut pineapples um i haven't washed these actually because i just don't like it if you wash i feel like sometimes you wash them they end up getting bad quicker and this was already ripe this pineapple so i was like i don't really want you to go off but it's fine um so yeah i'm gonna have that as my breakfast um yeah haven't had much appetite i'm gonna lie since moved on to 7.5 food noise nothing there i'm never hungry well rarely hungry and i think when i do eat it's because it's just the principle like oh i need to get some food and if i do want to eat like i said just a craving of protein so i just want chicken chicken and more chicken pardon me for a girl that was a carby girl like who loved having like chips with everything I've literally become the person that I'll leave the chips now and have the chicken first and then the carbs it's like I'll pick up the chips here and there and then I'll just be like yeah I'm done um yeah yeah I just don't think my food has been great just because I've literally been eating one meal a day and even then I'm enforcing um to just try and get the protein in I haven't really got my greens in like that I should have been so I've cut up some kale now and some asparagus I'm gonna have that um and just kind of try and get a routine again just because last week was a bit hectic again like i said we're having to you know do all this um but in terms of walking i've been consistent with my walking um all last week walked in the morning bar the friday just because i was feeling very very lethargic and tired 
um, and also because they said I do need to take time off working out so I'm not allowed to work out just I've been taking it steady with walks so I did compensate for not walking the Friday by walking the Saturday morning um, to make sure I've basically done my five days of walking at least and then the Saturday, Sunday, I did. Um, the, then the rest of the Saturday, I did rest because I'd done my walk in the morning. Sunday, I literally didn't do anything. Yeah, I was just tired. Then my body was tired. I did my walk this morning again. My morning walks so a must now, just because, especially now the evening time, it's literally like pitch black for me and my husband. It's getting a bit harder for us to kind of get um, out for our walks on time. By the time he gets back from work, and then get ready changed it's pitch black and you don't really see anything because it's just all you're concentrating on is just walking round because it's so dark and you're not really enjoying like the freshness of like the trees and just like the air and it's just because it's dark and when you're already someone that wears glasses i'm already like just i barely see anything anyway so i'm like what the heck um so let's move on to i kind of started off with the weight loss weight loss was 3.2 this week which i'm very happy about and then it might be more to be fair and then um so this was from last thursday when i did calculate so i don't know how much i know i've lost more but i'm nearly in wonderland that is the main thing we're on the benefits currently at the moment we're nearly in wonderland on our like weight i know i told anyone how much i weigh but i will i will divulge later on once I've, i feel like i've gotten to a comfortable place and just yeah i just don't want people to feel like oh my god she's losing that much and she weighs that much and why am i not losing a lot because with the manjaro and all that and i'm so i don't like people to feel that pressure so for me i'd rather just kind of get through the journey a bit more and then i can just kind of divulge after about all that good stuff thing like I feel like my skin, there's areas like, I feel like I used to have very dry skin here. Like my skin texture was very, just just harder and drier. And since maybe losing weight, maybe that's a benefit, my skin has felt, no, it's not it's felt smoother. Like I'm not doing anything different. I'm just moisturizing like I do after a bath. And my husband keeps saying it all the time. He's just like, your skin is so smooth. I was like, thanks. And he's been saying it so many times recently. I'm like, it's no different from before and it's like i feel like it is and it's like it's so smooth and i'm like so i don't know if anyone's like a dermatologist person a st aesthetician if you know anything about stuff like that but yeah i do feel like now that he's keeps saying it i do feel my skin i'm like oh actually it's very smooth like it like in certain areas especially where my here my arm especially here um and here it used to when i do when i felt it it did feel almost like um just very drier and as if my um is it the bumps what do they call them like kind of those kp bumps on them and i feel like that's kind of like subsiding now which great didn't realize but that's one thing also your girl has been on her early time so uh, it, this time first week wasn't as bad first day wasn't bad sorry I did have pain obviously from day two and three and in all honesty that was it like I feel like I'm going back to my um, you before like what I used to have I would have first day very light in you know heaviness second day obviously more heavier but in pain and third day whereas before well before I, you know I started losing weight I felt like it's really changed a lot because I was having pain on the first day and the flow was ridiculous so I was really starting day one crazily heavy two three and four awful you know so that's one thing I can say as well very much seeing the improvement in that as well maybe it's also just because I've removed sugar inflammation I'm not you know eating as much carbs so I, I, I definitely think I'm intolerant to carbs even though I love them I think my body hates carbs <laughs> like bread pastas white bread just yeah it does not like anything processed which for me I feel like it's quite unfair because I feel like people with bodies like ours we have high maintenance bodies but I say it like that but in all essence our bodies are just working the right way are they working the right way i think they are because they're telling you something's wrong and they're like please stop doing it we just choose not to listen because we like the white starches um is it starches carbs and i walk a bit quicker like i was saying feel lighter i can see my shape coming along sorry i don't have many pictures your girl is not one for taking pictures i want to take a picture 
and I'll put it on here <laughs> if I don't forget but I do feel like my face again is very much getting a bit slender and because as well my hair is quite short at the moment I feel like you can see it even more there's nothing like hiding my hair and everything I have continued guashering as well so I feel like that's also just helping with lymphatic drainage deep puff I'm drinking my water consistently about the maybe like the Friday Friday this the Saturday I wasn't feeling too good so I felt so full just drinking water even drinking water was just too much and I was like oh I don't I can't do this so I didn't drink as much as I would have liked but I did try and force myself but like I said I had that very full full feeling I think I'm going to continue to sell point five now until I finish this journey I don't like sweet things anymore sweet things are too much for me unless they're dark chocolate that's one thing I realised, if it's dark chocolate, I can eat it, still again in small majorities, anything like milky chocolate, dairy, oh, too sweet. I'm thinking about it, it makes me feel sick. Um, so, so that's the weird thing about it, it almost feels like it's just like reversed my sugar a sugar craving i'm a salty person and the only sweet things i do like is like my fruits which i, which I have um which is usually the berries though because they're not too sweet like i've had this pineapple the other day it was quite sweet so i'm like oh. <laughs> i have to kind of combine it with the, the strawberries and the and the blueberries um so it's a good problem to have oh nearly forgot my coffee yeah i don't like coffee anymore <laughs> never thought i'd say that in my life so I have now, if I do have a the rarest of occasions, coffee, a coffee want, it's usually decaf now and it's a black coffee with maybe one sugar. Um, and if I do want it, maybe creamy for the season of Christmas as we're coming into it, oat milk, but it's rare. Now I literally have teas, herbal teas or water. So that's a weird thing for me because I literally lived off coffees for a long time. But I do definitely think that because I was so stressed in the season, past few years in the season I was in, I felt like I was having coffee as just as a compensation, as a crutch almost. To be like, if I have coffee, maybe it'll do something. And it, all it did was increase my cortisol, increase my stress on my body. And yeah, so now if I do have the craving of a coffee, which is very very and, and i say craving i don't even crave it anymore and like literally i'll sometimes just be like oh i want a taste of it and then i'll have a decaf but full like full-on coffee coffee now <sighs> yeah it's not a thing anymore like first thing i want to do when i woke up was be like my body was literally be like coffee 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 and now it's literally just kind of like i have my water get to work do my work, have like a tea at work, like a decaf. Because I loved the sugar, I kind of enjoyed having coffees because it allowed me to have the syrups, have the flavoured stuff. And I think that just kind of went hand in hand, if that makes sense. So I think, because in essence, when I was younger, I never really cared for coffee like that. Like I didn't care for coffee. It's only in like past five years, maybe four years, with I think my change of jobs, having my jobs a bit more demanding, just being more stressed, I just feel like I use that as a crutch as well. So that's one thing I'm very happy about. I did also let you know in a vlog that I would started my Alive um, supplements, which I do need to take after I've eaten. It's 30 day servings, and it basically gives you your own kind of pre-made, um, what is it called formula formulated for whatever you are targeting so mine i did energy mood and immunity so you can have ones for different things so i think there's one for like um like skin health as well um so there's like four things you can kind of look into getting it for and it gives you the card with every single thing and the re what it will do for you so yeah and all the benefits and everything so i think that's really good um it does have iron in there which i did need so i just was getting tired of having like five thousand bottles okay not five thousand but like 10 bottles of different supplements with different measurements and then i was like i don't even know if i'm getting the right amount and it felt like some of them wasn't even working and i just felt like yeah i needed a break um so that's why i got this i just thought let me try it for like you know 30 days actually they say take it longer than that but yeah i thought let me take it for this long and let's see how it works i felt more energetic in terms of like after get taking them so i don't know if it's placebo on my part but i did a lot feel a lot more energetic especially because i started them yeah yesterday 
yesterday they came i think friday but i couldn't be bothered taking them so i ended up taking them friday i didn't take them sunday so yeah i've got that guys so i'm gonna be trying that out for you guys and it's really beautiful bottle it's personalized it says your name um and yeah so check them out guys if you want some um but i'll let you know so if i'm enjoying them and they're good but for the time being i think the i, I do feel like my energy i take this morning when i'm a walk when i'm a longer walk than usual so i think they're good to be fair because I, there was a lot of things that i um they've added in there that i haven't been taking so i think that also is a bonus because you know it's all well and good you take the usuals the irons the magnesiums maybe the zinc the vitamin c's and the vitamin d's and you're like yeah i'm good and then you know there's other things you might need but i did want to maybe in the new year get a blood test done see because they also do blood tests so alive do blood tests so you can get i think a blood test to see if you, what you're deficient in and what things you need um so i think i might do that in the new year to be fair and then it'll allow me to at least just be like holding on the things that i'm missing um in my diet um it doesn't help that i'm not eating so i need the supplements right now to help me out um but yeah guys sorry for the long waffle but i thought we'll just have a quick show up um yeah it's been a while i didn't i thought if i was if i don't do this now i'll forget so yeah that was my week nine um updates in terms of my up um in terms of what's been happening and the weight loss etc i will probably update the weight loss on here as well if i got it wrong but i think it was 3.3.2 .3 sorry um that i've lost at the moment with week nine and i have lost a lot more and um yeah which is great so i'll give you an update on week 10 once we get there so i'll see you soon